voice and piano for a little over eight years. Uh, I've been a professional vocalist for 12 years and uh, got my start back in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana and uh, my mom is a singer and organist and pianist and she's always been musical director as long as I've been alive for uh, quite a few churches. Um, she's a part-time musician but I grew up under her learning how to sing and play piano and um, I can remember my first uh, vocal solo was when I was five and my first uh, piano recital was when I was seven. So I kind of had that, you know, the knack for, um, for music and definitely the passion and the drive for it. Uh, so I ended up getting a scholarship to uh, my undergrad program at Southern University in Baton Rouge and a vocal music scholarship and I studied uh, vocal music uh, and just music in general for about two years until I applied to Georgia State University and was accepted into their music program and packed my bags. My mom and I rented a U-Haul and I moved myself to Atlanta because Atlanta was the closest uh, major music city. You know, I didn't want to be so far away from home. I was still very attached to my family and being uh, at home and, and afraid, you know, to, to leave and go a little further out. So Atlanta was the place for me. And um, since I've been here, you know, I've just been going to, when I first got here, I went to a bunch of jam sessions and got in a few bands and um, kind of cut my teeth if you will, uh, just on the scene, you know, and learn uh, a lot about music theory and music performance uh, through the School of Hard Knocks. And through my performance years, I discovered that I, I do really like teaching. Um, and I used to teach, you know, kids when I was in music groups back home in middle school and high school, you know, vocal parts. And so it kind of just came natural for me and seeing my mom, you know, being the musical director and teaching parts and all. Uh, so I kind of discovered that I like teaching as well. And so I've been doing that, teaching and performing full time ever since. Used to hold. I teach all ages. Uh, the youngest I've taught uh, was five and the oldest I currently teach is 67. Um, I teach boys and piano and um, styles of music I teach uh, are mostly contemporary music styles always with a classical approach uh, because I you know got my start uh, in school uh, learning classical music and that was my foundation so uh, building upon that um, I teach pop and jazz and soul and R&B and gospel and country and rock uh, and I teach out of the uh, Lilburn location as well as Grayson. Used to I had to learn to teach to my students' strengths, um, understanding uh, where they are and not pushing them too far uh, to the point of turn off. Um, I keep it fun, I keep it light, and uh, because I'm a big kid at heart. Uh, but at the same time, I do emphasize um, theory and practice and practice schedules uh, because I know that uh, without practice you can't grow, so with practice you grow. Um, I, uh, I, I like to get to know my students personally and I think that I have a good ability to develop rapport with people. Maybe that comes a little bit from my background as a rehab counselor. Um, I, uh, I have a genuine interest in my students, you know, I like to know what they like to do, you know, I like to know their musical styles and um, personal stuff. If they have a pet, you know, what's, what's going on with your pet this week or what have you, you know, how's school going, that kind of thing, because it relaxes them and helps them to feel more comfortable with me showing them different techniques or different things to do with their voice or, you know, with their playing. And uh, it just allows for a, uh, a, a more uh, open and honest uh, musical experience together. I also have a genuine interest in my students' musical tastes. Um, and by me showing a genuine interest in the artists they like, they in turn show an interest in the artists 
I like. And so it helps me to introduce them to people they might not have ever heard of or might not ever encounter, um, which just helps build and develop them even more into a well-rounded musician. You know, different genres, uh, different styles, phrasing, and all of that they can glean from different people to help enhance who they are. Used to hold. Gwinnett School of Music is a fun place. Um, the owners are really nice, the staff, uh, the staff members are really nice um, and sweet and kind and they show a genuine interest uh, towards uh, the learning of music. Um, I really appreciate the, the, the fact that they um, allow the teachers to teach in our own way and um, because all of the teachers are unique so we all have our, our way of doing. and. Um, Staff seems to have a really good knack at pairing the students with teachers based on our personalities or experiences uh, and uh, teaching styles. Um, I like that GSM is very well respected in the community and we get a flux of students coming in and very talented students coming in. Uh, all the time. So it's fun to work with, you know, it's fun to uh, have, to be in a school that's vibrant where uh, students are coming because they want to be here, you know, they want to learn. I see your lips, those summer kisses. 